I remember uh, doing a lot of busy work, you know, work that I really didn't, I really wasn't focused on, I really didn't want to do. They didn't really offer the classes that I needed to take or the environment that I needed to be in in order to learn, because I'm a very hands-on learner. It's kind of hard to go from class to class to class to class. I don't think it's so much the environment itself, it's it's more so moving around constantly and not having one place that you call like your space. It doesn't feel like you f have the ability to make connections like you would. You don't want to have to learn or focus on things when you're not in the right mindset. You don't feel good. And I think emotionally, at times, school can be tough for a lot of people. The teachers in the high school have so many different kids to worry about, you know. They have one class and then the next class and then the next class and you're just one kid in those like four or five classes of students. I think the best teachers that I've had have always been ones that have uh, tried to engage with me outside of the classroom. Like at least, you know, say hi, talk to me and you know, like get to know me I guess and they kind of, it's all about communication because if you're not communicating, then I just, I'm not interested. I'd rather just read a textbook because that's, if that's all it is, and that's, it's just like a, a feed of information, I guess. It's really the people that you surround yourself with that change how you learn. And the, like, the classroom environment itself that changes how you learn, like more of a community more personalized, more individualized, something that focuses on the students themselves and individually and creates a support system for each person. In our classroom, you know, I can always bounce my idea off of the person who sits right next to me or the person who sits across the room because they're always going to be there and their opinion is always valued in my, to me anyway. Um, and I can always ask the teacher a question and if I can't get the answer to the question that I have or if I want to find something else I can look it up and learn that way or walk across to the next room and find out that way. I think the greatest most like organized teacher I had was a math teacher in sixth grade or something uh, and uh, it was just like he was on top of everything where he had like every week he would print out like the grade sheet for everyone and he'd put it on like the wall so you could walk up to the wall and once a week he'd give you even time to walk up to the wall and you could see what assignments he's given, what you've missed. This year in digital film has been different because you know what you're talking about more so and you actually seem to care about where your students go in life and you care about preparing them for that life that they want? I think it's the confidence and I mean when you have a teacher and you hear them speak like that and you're like wow I'm amazed like you can tell that they know what they're saying and I've had some teachers that seem kinda clueless in even what they're doing and not confident so I think that's a big factor I read more books, I think more creatively. I think that's something that you kind of took out from inside of me. You're definitely memorable as a teacher just because you relate to us more, more like a friend kind of. And I don't know, I, I, think, I think that teacher-kid relationship should be more informal for it to work out.